So how do I get a vehicle from here to here? Ramps, of course. And I'm going to build some. This is a trailer of mine, and it came with a really crummy ramp. Um, right here. That is great for walking or something else like that. But it's just all, like... I mean, this is just thin rod. To, I mean, pushing a lawnmower or something up a ramp. But, I mean, this is a 14,000 pound trailer. It can handle cars. It can handle anything you can throw at it. So, I need a lot heavier duty ramps than this. This will just buckle. This little thing right here just goes over this round lip. And it will buckle. Um, conventional wisdom would be just to build it out of angle iron. Um, I don't have angle iron laying around. Not enough to do ramps. The trailer came with a ton of this. This is black uh, gas line pipe. It's actually pretty rigid stuff, and I got quite a bit of it. So I'm going to do a little bit of geometry, a little bit of engineering, and actually just build my own ramps as light as possible, but enough to carry a, a good-sized truck, car, anything else can, can drive up it. So let's play around. Now, I've built quite a few ramps over the years. If you want to build ramps and just be done with it, just go to the metal yard, buy a couple lengths of angle iron, and weld it up. Two lengths of angle iron, cut pieces about 10 inches apart or so. I've already started cutting up some stuff for the ramps. Um, and this is the tubing that I have. Um, it's all gas line. It's, I mean, it's a good solid eighth inch thick. This stuff's pretty heavy duty. I actually uh, put four, though, four or so of these together and drove my expedition up on them. And they virtually, they didn't really deflect at all. You know. just pipe by itself so I mean this is some strong stuff um, even with these sleeves you know this is pretty much acting like a, a, a lap weld where it's probably stronger it'll probably less likely to bend here than it is just anywhere else on the pipe but I'm gonna leave those on first I was gonna cut those off but I want the extra length so those are staying so the basic idea is um, just a ladder to do a ramp you know going to be like that and then just going to weld some pieces in between to be wider probably going to be about a foot wide at least that's what you want but i'll just weld in a bunch of ladder frames but then this by itself you know with the vehicle driving up isn't strong enough so we're going to actually add a second pipe underneath and triangulate it so i've actually cut a couple relief cuts in here um three quarters of the way through so i can get this bend easily and i was going to heat it up but then it was probably just going to kink so i'll do that weld it up but that'll give this is a side view if you're looking at it, so it'll actually sit like this when you're driving up the trailer. But then I'll put a bunch of uh, triangulated braces in here, and that'll distribute the load down. And as this is deflecting, as the top one is deflecting as you're driving up it, it'll actually stretch this. Um, so this will be a stretching force to counteract the deflection of this. So that'll make it a ton more rigid, ton more strong. Wow, cutting takes forever, but. Got the majority of everything cut. All these, these are all my cross rails. My main lengths are done. I decided to uh, notch the uh, the angled piece so it'll sit down on one side a little bit closer instead of sitting, you know, instead of having it like this side. One side will be okay instead of having two pieces joined like this. And that took quite a while. Um, I have a small plasma cutter and it doesn't like to cut through this, but. The fiber wheel, the uh, the abrasive wheel cutter, they work pretty good. They're cheap, um, but boy, do they make a mess. I mean, you get you get iron filings absolutely everywhere. So, and it smells like metal. And then you get black metal boogers if you're not uh, if you don't wear a dust mask. But you know, put more iron in your diet. So I got both main ladders welded up, just tack welded, and then I'm going to go through and actually weld all the way around. You don't want to weld something because whenever you weld one, if you just weld that completely it'll bend. So you want to get it all tack welded up and then you can finalize weld it. Um, what do I use for welding? This right here is my go-to. My little Lincoln Weld Pack 100 right here. And it is just a um, 110 volt welder. And I've had this since almost 20 years now. Um, the only modification I did to it was set up for the big spool so it runs the large spools of a wire and I have run oh my gosh seven 
seven, eight, I've lost count of these large spools and a couple small spools when I first started out um, through this machine and it just keeps going. The trigger stuck once and once or twice before, just clean it out and works great since, you know, 110 volts. This is all flux core. Um, I do have it set up for MIG as well, but MIG is expensive. I don't care if it's dirty. You know, I have a full size MIG tank, but I'd rather not. But for this one, I've had this Lincoln Tombstone forever. Um, little AC Tombstone welder, 220, 250 volt that I am not proficient at. I, you know, I would call myself an excellent welder at the uh, little Lincoln weld, at just the, the flux core wire, or even MIG, I can put down a beautiful weld, but I have never practiced this very much, so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna stick weld it. Why not? I have tons of electrodes, tons of them. Got some 7018 rod here. That looks like somebody bought for a dollar, probably at a thrift store. Yeah, one dollar, so, and then I got for next to nothing. So we're gonna use some 7018 rod and weld it up with my nice auto darkening helmet that I've had for oh, 15 years or so, back before they were cheap. You had to spend good money to get actually an auto darkening helmet, but let's weld it up. I got both of them welded up. Now it's just a matter of, uh, now I gotta weld the bottom pieces on to make them stronger. Um, practicing with the, uh, not too shabby, I know you won't be able to see it very good, but the uh, the 7018 versus 6011. I like 7018. I don't know. Like I said, I have very little experience with stick welding. I actually uh, jumped back on that for a minute because I got so tired of this. Because with that, you're used to you hold one hand and you hold the gun with the other and you kind of brace it. With stick welding, you're just kind of free floating. So my arm got tired. So the other side, I actually uh, ooh, still warm. The other side of this one is actually with that and I really do like that a lot more than the stick but gotta learn how to stick weld someday right there to keep them all straight just clamped them all together and then just welded them up tech welded them first and then just welded them up and you can see right there you see these little dots everywhere on the sides of the welds that's why everybody hates flux core I don't mind it. I actually really enjoy flux core welding. It's just the um, people hate it because they got to clean it up. But majority of my welds are structural anyway, or I'll grind away the entire thing anyway because those things just still hot. Those things just kind of fall off once you start grinding. But now I got to flip it over because I only got half of the relief cut cut or welded. But there we go. Wow. These things are strong as heck, but got a little bit more to do to them. I got the, um, what is this, probably like a two by three angle iron quarter inch for the top lip to help for it to actually connect to the trailer. But just triangulating that bottom bar, I mean, that's twice as strong as it would be if you just welded two bars together. Um, just adds a ton. But to add just a little bit more, because I want these ramps to handle absolutely anything I throw at them, is these these things right here and this is, this, this is this side and this is this side so these will get welded in and they are really just going to strengthen up this whole structure and control any bending force coming straight down on it down on it you know these eighth inch pieces they're about eighth inch maybe a little thinner you know they have Virtually no strength side to side, you know, if you were to use that as a ramp that way. But this way, it is virtually impossible to push down. I mean, I bet you you could, you know, you could run a thousand pounds right up over this without this bending. You know, it'd want to tweak out of the way. It'd want to flop over. But you throw this in here like this. You put some welds on this all the way around. And I bet you these two on both sides gives me an extra thousand pounds of ramp capacity for an extra I mean that doesn't mean like a pound you know maybe that's a pound so for an extra two pounds you gain a thousand pounds of capacity so I'll weld those in right here where the ramp will connect you know this will slide onto the trailer's groove this is welded all the way around on the inside and down and the top onto this pipe but that's also a weak point so I have gussets for that as well 
that'll actually get welded on there to help bring the load from this down onto both pipes and just help strengthen it just a little bit. So what it's gonna look like. Now just one, two, and two more on the other. So three more sets to do and we should be done. You can see I added a couple of more braces in here and to give it traction I actually took the, uh, the welder and just did a bunch of little spot welds all the way along all the little rungs and that just gives you know these things bite when it's wet or something but that'll put in there allow you to hold it up tie it down whatever try it out there we go we just got it some then sit on some two by fours and a two by four support in the very very tip where most of the weight will be on the other side and that's off the ground so we'll just drive up that test it out So it's articulated so much that he, the um, that roughly half the weight is on that one ramp. So half the vehicle weight. So we got roughly um, 2,500 pounds or so on that one ramp. But holding up just fine. That's what I wanted. <laughs> 